the mark for Freeman Liberty. Look night the other way. Hesitation. The lead in 12 footer off the front rim and in. He's got a talent. Let me tell you. He shows up every night, this kid, on both ends of the floor. That's all because of Martin's D. Put a Brooklyn show on in the open. I'm impressed with little coverage, balancing the floor, not giving easy hoops. The ball. Good night. Dumping the baseline with the reverse layup. Never gave up on it. Oh, what a depth by him. That's the first. Transfer from Howard. Sat last year at UConn, so he is really hitting his stride towards the end of this year. By James Jam throughout the month of March. Now file this one away from March. Dan Hurley, two trips to the NCAA tournament with Rhode Island. As one night steps back to make it cleanly and get right into your shot. Book night fires again. Book night perfect start. And a huge opportunity could be a seeding boost win for Houston as well. And I think Penny Hardaway, that team, I think they've won six in a row as Book Knight has Woo! just been to maybe managed things in an upset fashion. Ed Kemba was from the Bronze. Book Knight from Brooklyn, and Book Knight is ready for up at the rim. Book Knight has 14 so far for the Huskies, and he wants more. Book Knight puts it for 16 now. Get it started for Book Knight. Book Knight into picket. Talk to James Book Knight. 9 and 11 at this point in their senior year, but playing better basketball down the stretch until the Huskies onslaught today, and it continues with James Book Knight. Couldn't bank it in. Here comes Book Knight for UConn. Stop and start and slam. James Book Knight's first points of. Book Knight goes baseline. Somehow he caught it with two taller players right in. Backdoor cut for it to call Molson, who couldn't hit it. Book Knight lines it up and hits it. There you go. In the ball away. James Booknight short with a three. Whaley over the top for the rebound. Second chance opportunity for the Huskies. Booknight takes advantage. From Payne, unable to convert off of the offensive rebound. This has been a 7 nothing run for Marquette. Booknight ends that. He's with it against Jackson. But he was looking for a whistle, didn't get it. Gaffney brings it down the floor. Gives it up to Booknight. Oh, how Huskies were ready to blow him out of the building. That's 6'11", stepping out. Nice touch. Book Knight with a jab step maneuver. Drills it. Carlton with a dribble handoff to Book Knight. Actually, just a simple handoff. Here he is. That's a nice little hand lift job right there. Side when they have the ball. Oh, the teardrop. Bank is open late. The lead is a baker's dozen with just under 12 to play. Book night off the curl. So plenty. And it's right there for Sonogo. He was hesitant. And Book night tipped it back through. Recipe for a long afternoon. You see those three Connecticut players with four fouls. One of them Sonogo, their lone big remaining. And again, rattling at home is Book night. It may not make. Full court pressure quickly up to Book Knight. Oh, subtle slam that saved nicely by Cole. That's what Whaley can do. He leads the Big East in blocks. Three a game. Too easy. Book Knight got right inside. This time misses the teardrop. And a steal. Book Knight, easiest bucket he'll have tonight. And a tear. Infiltrate this game though a little bit. It's been a tough going for for both teams. Chief can't get booked on a little back pick. Oh yeah, run beautifully. Book night at the. They've got the first two field goals for Georgetown here in the second half. So off to a lot better start. Book night. Oh gorgeous. Hangs and hits. Fine, but he's got to take what the defense gives him and go into the lane and hit those little floaters. Backdoor cut. Book night again. Call. 
with my partner Nick Baum, Eric Collins. It is a five-point game, and Book Knight sneaks inside and scores. It UConn's next game is going to be against Marquette. That game's on Saturday. Book Knight, that may be the knockout. And Book Knight. Names Book Knight with some authority. UConn playing smaller. A tough matchup for Sonoko. Here's the matchup you want to see. Book Knight versus Moore. Book Knight, tough shot. And kill. <laughs> you can't do it all the time. You string it out. You trap it. Shade it a little bit. On the lane. Tough in that lane. And what Jay Rice said is Book Knight banks one down. Book Knight the other way. Can't take your eyes off this kid, folks. Like all great guards, he can play on it. Or off it. He'll step back and wow. Loose ball and it's rebounded by Connecticut. Here's Book Knight. Open court. Euro step off the window. Oh! And he got the roll. Tyler Polly with the rebound in now for Connecticut. Here's Gaffney. Straight to the basket. Book Knight there for the follow. Well, what else, huh? And you're surprised. Yeah, exactly. Every time he lets it go. Book Knight swivels to the basket and gets behind. <laughs> Robinson Tough Earl match. for the layup. 56 57. Robinson Earl with 17 points and 10 rebounds. Another double double. Third double double of the year. Wow. Polly. Oh my goodness! Welcome back, James Watson, who takes that shot, has got two fouls as well. Uh, he's trusting him now as an upperclassman. Oh my goodness. Score the goal. Foul. Jane blocked by Whaley. Book Knight the trailer sneaks inside. Off the window. Scoring and a foul. I'm He's all over. He can, he can elevate there. On Bynum. Book Knight swoops inside and scores. The reverse is good for James Book Knight. <laughs> is that a lot of rest? Is That's that what right. you're suggesting? <laughs> Here's Book Knight. Turns the corner. Stays on the rim and just glides through. As Book Knight hands it off to Cole. Sophomore Book Knight. Little floater made it look easy. Took the long route. Sure look for UConn. Book Knight so smooth. Oh my! The Velveteer! Well, you gotta go. Step back from Lewis, not gonna go. Rebound loose, picked up by UConn. Book Knight on the push. Book Knight end to end, driving into traffic, muscling it up and over the front of the rim. Goes, trying to find some of that real estate on the baseline. The double team came. Holly on the drive. Tough pull up, that won't go, but there's Book Knight for the offensive rebound and advantage. And another good pass off a of penetration from Kobe McEwen. Seven first half points for Garcia. Book Knight with a pass Book fake, Knight. tips his own miss in. Really get up into you defensively. Pressure man to man, and they're going to try to be great on the glass. And an early touch for Book Knight. So, question number one how three on three reads, and he thought it really paid off the first couple games of the year. Book Knight in the two man game with Carlton on the baseline. There's just a of defenders on Book Knight. Ooh. Catch and shoot. Follows the miss, and now Book Knight after the miss three gets to the rim. Perfect shooting start for DePaul in the second half. Three for three. Carlton calling for it. It'll be Book Knight who takes it. And now another run out chance. Watch out, James. Reconstituted, reformatted Big East. What a tremendous league it is. It is. Book Knight, ball. Count it. Fly from deep, but also hit them. His team hits from beyond the arc at a 40% clip, and it's Damian Jefferson with the first triple. Book Knight with the answer. Cole. Hits Zagorowski's pocket. Book Knight. Count the basket. How did. Comfortable on the perimeter as we've seen him stroke. A three-pointer earlier this afternoon. The senior is so versatile on the offensive end. Book Knight, fall away. That's pretty. Go down as one of the better three-point shooters in program history. Martin trying to take it the length of the floor. Book Knight is everywhere, and he's into double figures with 10. 
Nothing there. He's open. Book night. Puts it up. Puts it in. How about the physicality against Creighton's highly efficient offense and rhythm? Book night. Give him one more. Are always defensive oriented. It is in the DNA of those types of teams. Book Knight has dominated on the baseline, and he goes up and up. That's the Blue Jays' season average. Book Knight got the three. Well, he's in the zone. Duration going. Yep, we need to. <laughs> Drinking my coffee over here. This is Book Knight. Another? Yes! A new career. Huh? Who else do you put the ball into the hands of? It's Book Knight. Driving. Lays it in. And the foul. And again, selling out to Zagorowski. Uh, basically a double team, especially when he comes off screens. Book Knight. Count the basket. Needs a surge. 18 seconds. They've got to get a shot up. Three possession game now. Book Knight's three. That's down. So it's back to a four point game. Gaffney, seven on the game clock. Let's it go. Short. Carlton. Clock winding down now. And that'll be just a footnote. The freshman getting the stunt. And it'll be Edie, White, Mobley, Mobley, and Peterson. Worth noting, Ethan Anderson is knocking them. Evan Mobley, one of the best in the land, and at least a quick glance. One game and about three and a half minutes. I get a wide open look, just couldn't knock it down. USC by three. UConn basketball. Book night gets another. Book night here, floater, that'll go. I just think watching this, I, I struggle to see USC being able to win this game, continuing to sit in that zone past a certain point. And the point might be three minutes, because it's something to paint, draw people, and kick, because the Hartford Hawks are the best at shooting threes in the American East. Great stutter step, Book night to the mm -hmm. hole for the flush. Mm -hmm. It's one of the keys to the game. UConn's going to push the pressure, fast break points. They're going to try to block shots, get rebounds, and get out Three. and get into. You know, sir, this is their first game out, so there's some little bit of jitters uh, for the Hawks because UConn has played a game, but again, they're on the road, and there it is again. I mean, they, those guys are getting to the rim, blocking shots, as you see Polly did right there. I mean, you're going to have to keep these guys off the glass. Book Knight pedal to the metal. He's got 12, <laughs> less than five. <laughs> In the corner, Cole back on the floor with his two fouls. The offensive board and the put. The time was on the clock. They took their time and they ran the offense, and it was effective. Just in case anybody not sure, your hometown is Houston. Defensively, I mean it's an ugly game, but UConn's not scoring. So if they're scoring, we're not talking about you know it as much. But that's what they got to do. They're moving the ball, and look what happens. Just slow. It's everything for your program when you can go into a kid's home and tell them who you're playing against every night. Book Knight with the steal and finish at the other end. And you see a corner. This UConn team's too athletic. Just incredible depth this year in the front court. Nice bounce pass down low. And Book Knight lays it in on the assist from Gaffney. A young must strip. Here comes Book Knight ahead of the pack of the stuff. And that's what you want from him. Maybe the presence of Sunoco that forced that from Carrington Wallace. Here's Cole. Drops it down to Book Knight. Scores and he's fouled. Showing surprise a lot of people. And with plays like that defensively, I mean, he is you. stingy and he has an awareness. And then three in the foul after he comes up with it. Being planned to be just in one city. I think it just, this is a season where you have to, you know, expect the unexpected. You have to be ready to adjust on the fly. And I had a touch. Krishnan, nice move, too strong off the glass. Look out, Book Knight lays it in. How about the pass from Jackson, though? Almost a no look, no call. Now, Book Knight, first time he's touched, finds a no go, the leader inside, and it goes down. Book Knight the other way. Cole, quick release. There you go, Gus. And that. 
having a nice base so far, Gus. Cole sets his feet. Well, this kid, he really benefited back in the game. They played him well. That combo instance you pin one guy, pin another guy. Cole in the corner. Cole blooded. Cole. Mm. Oh, really moving around for Connecticut. You are right, Gus. Cole wide open. Bad hop. Hop. Ball movement distribution. Oh, they are really struggling. It's tenacious. Look at this gift, Gus. In almost a month is UConn, 11 days ago. They have been playing much better basketball, including the win over Xavier. That's a talking from Tyrese Martin. Boarded by Whaley, who's playing through a hip injury right now for the Huskies. Holy in transition. That is it home. That could be. James McKnight, 20 points per game, still looking for his first points of this one. Sonogo goes to work, and six early ones for the fresh push. Abu Kelishvili with a head of steam, lost the handle. McKnight looks to counter, shares with Gaffney, who throws it down! Jalen Gaffney! Ewan trying to keep it alive, but yet again it's run down by Mark. Cole from McKnight. Look how, that is the rebound. Book night probing. Bullet pass to Ogo. Takes his time, and the lead is now five. He just said it. Took his time. Trying to create space. Step back. 15 footer off the heel. Gets his own rebound. Cole. Yes. That kid plays with comp. Got a wonderful field turn to Jim Calhoun earlier, saying he just understands the game. That may have been a backcourt violation. Book night. His presence felt immediately. It's a little zone look. This dangerous dribble between and find people. Call three ball. Three. Wow. How about that bounding team, this UConn team, especially on the offensive glass where they lead the nation over 16 per game. Here's Book Knight on the drive. The underhand of Whaley in the baseline jumper. Four. Book Knight gets it back and then finds one for three. So. Back into the Big East this year, first season. Nice pass. New look Big East, and there's Carlton. Wow. Book Knight has the assist, his second. And now Book Knight leading the Huskies on the run again. Floats it to the rim, and Mark. When you look at the rebounding numbers in the first half, 23 to 9, you can almost hear the voice of the late John Thompson urging the Hoyas. And Book Knight is a screener. Holly was 3 for 11 on the year from three. As mentioned, a career high 40 against Creighton, and Creighton's got some good guards, Zagorowski in particular. <laughs>
Taking his time, seven to shoot. He draws Jackson. That pass was tipped. Ayala has to hoist. Off the rim, no good. He's really been tightly guarding him behind the three-point line in this tournament. Zagorowski, a fadeaway jump shot. Long rebound. Damian. Yeah, no, he is. I mean, a great pass. Kind of a look away, a drop right inside. Not able to finish. Zagorowski knocks down a triple. And times have we seen the footwork where he's stayed on balance. Kind of pirouetted a couple times and still got a shot up. Ballock off a screen. Whaley with the rebound. Out in the jump stop charge. 7 to 4, Connecticut. Weeds on the baseline. Deep in the corner. That is a Texas great football player. Yes, he was. Freeman Liberty. Well, we should explain that, though, right? Patrick not able to, They didn't recognize him coming into the guard, right? That's right. Coach, the security guys didn't recognize four straight, and it looked like it was no question they were headed to the tournament. Uh, the impl implications on this game, see, when you play with that, in particular on the defensive end, how it opens up some offensive opportunities like this here by Kale. Hits and so excited about that, but some games still needed to be played to kind of solidify the seating. So we'll see how it all shakes out. Here's Kale. Not this floor to do for Seton Hall. Rode into the trailer, Aiken. Tees up Kale. And Mike DeCourcy's last four in. His NCAA tournament projection coming off back-to-back -back losses. Miles Kill with a corner allows his teammates to be involved. Payne on the drive. Lost it, recovers it, and finds Elliott. Again, Marquette, their lack of communication has really hurt them in this first half. Carton. That was under... Martin and McEwen working together this time. DJ to the Elliott. Carton from downtown. Good be the final possession of the first half for Georgetown. Wahab. Oh, bonus. The Huskies up the floor and left the rim vacant for Mr. Booknight to just cut hard. Blair, hard. Man, he plays hot in the air, doesn't he? he? Does he is going after every offensive rebound? He forced Pickett to reload. No go. Good defense by Swider. Well, Pickett Cook didn't have the strength to finish it. Nice give. Robinson Earl gathers it. They swing it. Baseline. Gillespie shows it. Fires. Robinson Earl faces, swings it. That's what, that's what they do great. They face and attack. And it's wider. Politis on the beginning. Watson and Duke both well below their averages. This is Duke. Oh, it's a good start. Providence, they've missed their last six shots. Do you think if Reeves going a little bit too? To get anything going after the elbow injury. Six-point game. Place, but tonight it's all fallen into place. 23 points, career high for Tyler Paul. 11-point Utah. Whaley off the assist from Cole. Five assists now for R.J. Cole. The energy and the intensity.
multiple guys, and it's almost, I don't even know if they know what they're going to do. They're just coming down playing ball. Wiggins! Big finish! Plays consistently, has not really touched it much these last few possessions. Ayala, stop and go. Big shot, no, but a foul. When you look at the rebounding numbers in the first half, 23 to 9, you can almost hear the voice of the late John Thompson urging the Hoyas and from Mali originally, but moved to the United States and went to school at the Patrick School just a few minutes from Newark. Shows UConn all. Yeah. Normally it's that top mid-major team that everybody's been talking about. Yeah. That, that would not be the case. Kale going baseline. Banks it in. Now Roden. Five on the shot clock. Mamu Kelishvili drives on book night. Off balance. Threw it up. Good defense. Who's it going to be for the Pirates? Javar Reynolds into the lane. Nifty move with the left hand. Laid it in. Long way to, to get there to close out on the shooter. Maintain that call. That ball was deflected. They get this one. And there's a foul underneath again. Up in stores. I think what's so special about that is he knows there's contact, so he shoots it higher and hits the glass. Instead of trying to shoot it straight in. Timothy Igoefe. Pick it. A little Euro step. And the layup goes pick with Georgetown. Only 10 on the clock. Georgetown hadn't scored in the last 2.15. Yeah, but the senior helps. Ball batted out. New shot clock for Nova. So Samuels does the little things. Ooh. 42-41 Connecticut. Gillespie gliding to the basket. Allen Breed up high. Look at Book Knight's reaction to on that double screen. Duke high off the window, rebounded by Watt. Uh, Rides will have to reset. Tough pass. Duke sneaks inside and a clean block by Watt. 16. Eight minutes left. Both Duke and Watson not on the floor for Providence. Trying to shake it up a little. Reeves could be a guy to get it going a little bit so far this season. Yeah. You wonder what's the difference between you know, a mid-major and a high-major. Plays like that at the rim, a little bit different than it is at Howard. Knight is a screener. Holly was 3 for 11 on the year from three. He gets hot. As mentioned, a career-high 40 against Creighton. And Creighton's got some good guards, Zagorowski in particular. And as well, why the ball go in the basket for UConn?
36 and with 35 percent from the three-point line of the course of this year. And Connecticut forces the turnover. Five on four now. Mahoney pushed off. Down foul. Late game for your shot at the cash. Fox Super Six. It's three. Play now. The other way. Off the ball. Those mid slot. Drives, rejected Sonogo, out of bounds, we'll hit the other way. Gush, and the reaction. Inside, oh, beautifully done. You want to try to win the segments if you're, you, if you're in Georgetown. Harris splits the double. Left it short, boarded by mm -hmm. They love the aggression, aggression, though. Good defense from Molson, comes up with a steal. High off the glass, no. Mamu's... Blair shoots it over. Belay locked away again. This time Sonoko. Which listen, he can score down there, but you don't want to have too much of a diet of post touches with him. Look at Belay. How did he get past Gaff? Rebound. Inside Robinson Earl. Great position. Missed the layup. Gets his own. Samuels facing. Got Powell in the nice. air. And draws a foul. Well done. There's that cat. Must be posting again. Just tips inside. Others down a notch on the scanner report. They can play off him. He's got a wonderful field turn to Jim Calhoun earlier to leave. So both two. bigs for exactly. Providence and UConn with two fouls. Watson, who takes that shot, has got two fouls as well to bring in Carlton here to replace Whaley. Nice little cross screen. He's got to go to work quick. Away from the trap. Coming up at the nine-minute mark. Duke. Stuffed. Take it away. Croswell. Right place, right time. Greg Gant, and he'll go to the... The skill work that they were able to really put the guys through this fall due to COVID regulations. They couldn't play a lot of... To tie the game.
Zagorowski galloping into the front court. Drives, reverse. Well, we should explain that, though, right? Patrick not able to, they didn't recognize him coming into the guard, all right? Right. Coach, the security guys didn't recognize him. These are going to be for the Pirates. Kavar Reynolds into the lane. Nifty move with the left hand laid it in. See if UConn starts to send a double team at Kudus Wahab. Pickett. Oh, the senior doing what's stealing the basketball. Harris gets it over to Blair. Blair, a teardrop. Rattles around and through. Uh, Rides will have to reset. Tough pass. Duke sneaks inside and a clean block by Witt. Duke, nothing doing against Booknight. Wonderful defense. What a recovery from Booknight. Hewitt, little pump, the spin, the jumper. Swarming and crowding Zagorowski throughout. Now it's Mahoney with two to shoot. Book Knight got a piece of it. A hoist and a shot clock file run for the Huskies in just over 100 seconds. And this is what John Gallagher was afraid of. He said, hey, listen, you got to be down four or five. Or as you pointed out, as a trailblazer for African-American coaches in this industry, the first to ever win a national championship back in 1984. Pass is, is coming. Footwork where he's stayed on balance 
and a pirouette a couple times and still got a shot up. Ballock off a screen. Whaley with the rebound. What did you think of the game? I said, it was the first time I've been in New York that early in the morning. My wife wasn't mad at me. <laughs> When you look at the rebounding numbers in the first half, 23 to 9, you can almost hear the voice of the late John Thompson urging the Hoyas and Jay Cole and Carlton. I've heard it all about Andre Jackson can't shoot it really yet, but you know what? His activity is athleticism. 42 41 Connecticut, Gillespie gliding to the basket. <laughs> Just to control the tempo, get some inside shots. You see how co compact everybody is. David Duke. Recipitis on the beginning. Watson and Duke both well below their averages. This is Duke. Oh, it's a good start. He's renewed. Well, he's had some games where he's just been incredible. Marquette comes to mind. Horkler, and he's fouled. He's in the Really been tightly guarding him behind the three-point line in this tournament. Zagorowski a fadeaway jump shot. Long rebound. Damian 39-22. Connecticut. And another turnover for DePaul. Javon Blair gets a touch. Coming off the bench. Blair floater. <laughs> Wasting no four straight. And it looked like it was no question they were headed to the tournament. Uh, the impl implications on this game. Long way to, to get there to close out on the shooters. Maintain that call. That ball was deflected. They just missed one. And there's a foul underneath again. And Timothy Igoefe. Pick it. A little Euro step. And the layup goes from the front line for UConn. Something to keep an eye on. Blair. Did he take an extra step? He did. I think he's lost his balance but on that glass can't give them that many opportunities this is a terrific offensive rebounding team and touched so, so far this season <laughs> runner on the way night is a screener Holly was three for 11 on the year from three other end as well why the ball go in the basket for UConn halftime well you wouldn't know it by the score but one of the biggest concerns for coach Gallagher was his team not getting pounded on the off four shots in the first 16 minutes of the opening half but battled back used some defense to crawl back in that's on the offensive team shot clock expired
Looking for his offense. He's two for eight from the field. He comes up with a steal. Here's Booknight. Well, they are really struggling. It's tenacious looking. Comes up with a loose ball here. Looks to push. Abu Kelishvili would have had a steam. Lost the handle. Booknight looks to counter. Share J. Cole and Carlton. I've heard it all about Andre Jackson can't shoot it really yet, but you know what his activity is athleticism They didn't have to tell him to go up go up that time Got his line made up Look night in the passing lane. Robinson Earl has scored the last six for Nova There's more oh we got his pocket picked by book night from behind book wow. He's back no, With a vengeance nice. What a nice read. Here's Buck Knight. What is the season games, and then you got the Big East tournament. And you don't want to step on a banana. They got James back, too, which really helps. In the same sense. Hart driving the dump down to Theo John, and a tie up. You Book Knight has the assist, his second, and now Book Knight leading the hunt. They're bleeding plus of Gilbert for personal reasons and Wilson because of a right knee contusion. And with Fatal now into double figures after those for the Cougars, nine points off the bench, and he is not out there to start the second. Five to shoot Giroux. Trying to find Harris. That's deflected by Book Knight. Oh, Giroux flying for the rebound. Giroux pushing tempo. Oh, he's in trouble. Basketball analyst Pete Gillen. I'm a consultant for Pilates right now. I like it. When your body's so bad, you need help. You gotta go to Pilates. That's unique. You need help there. The safer you drive, the more money you save. Well, bad news, State Farm, because Aaron doesn't know how to play it safe. Mm. <laughs> it up. Time in eight years that UConn has played in the Jimmy V Classic here at Madison Square Garden. Played here in 2000. Norway, Maine. He's showing his toughness today here in Hartford. Book Knight with the pressure coming up with the steal. 